Well, good morning and welcome to this Change with Jesus on Monday, January 24th. More people are out and about on the streets than I had anticipated this morning, so you might see some folks walking behind me as the scenery. Uh, the assigned reading for today from our Revised Common Lectionary is portions of Psalm 119, which is the longest psalm in Scripture, and it's dedicated to the law, law, the law of the Lord. So here's verse 89 through 96. The Lord exists forever. Your word is firmly fixed in heaven. Your faithfulness endures to all generations. You have established the earth and it stands fast. By your appointment they stand today, for all things are your servants. If your law had not been my delight, I would have perished in my misery. I will never forget your precepts, for by them you have given me life. I am yours, save me. For I have sought your precepts. The wicked lie in wait to destroy me, but I consider your decrees. I have seen a limit to all perfection, but your commandment is exceedingly broad. Um, I don't know whether it's the dynamic that sometimes we use in interpreting scripture as a Lutheran lens. We talk about the difference between law and gospel, between command and promise. And uh, too often times that has been um, thoroughly misconstrued as bad and good. Um, in, in truth, uh, you know, when we had visited uh, over in Israel, we met with an Orthodox Jew, and he was just extolling the joy and gift of, of um, the law, uh, the instructions that, that God had chosen to people and then set forth these instructions to live by that would foster community, that would foster health and life. And what a gift it was to be recipients of this. So um, again, also in, in our context, I don't know if I, I put it under the umbrella of um, law as you cannot do these things. And as a human being, you chafe against these restrictions. But in truth, this law, these instructions were given again so that a community could flourish could enjoy life. Um, I sometimes will use in confirmation asking the students, you know, w w imagine what it would look like in a community that fulfills these commandments that, um, you know, thou shalt not steal. Therefore, you never have to worry about leaving something somewhere or leaving it unlocked because no one steals. Uh, you know, thou shalt not bear false witness against your neighbor. That, you know, we have conversations and we always seek to see the other in the best light possible. You know, we shall covet. All these things, when followed, would be, I won't call it utopia, but would certainly be a marvelous community to, to you know, reside within. So, yesterday we had the reading from uh, Nehemiah when the chief priest when Ezra was reading the law and Pastor Josh touched on that about how as the people stood for hours listening that they wept um, knowing they had fallen short probably of that but also knowing it had been recovered and then the command was to then go celebrate um, so um, I don't know just just I've, I've been doing a whole lot more um, learning from Amy Jo Levine, who's an Orthodox Jew. She teaches New Testament at Vanderbilt University. And it gives such a much better um, understanding of uh, just Judaism in the first century context. And, and Judaism today um, dispels some of the myths and other errors that we've introduced um, through the years. Uh, some blatant ones we've obviously, um, you know, formally apologize for, for that, but uh, other nuances that uh, paint a little bit of a broad brush um, and, and not, not always an accurate one. So the gift of the law, the gift of the instructions, the gift of being called uh, to follow. So let us pray. Holy God, thank you for the gift of scripture. Thank you for the gift of instructions. Thank you for the gift of a community of faith to interpret, to um, seek to live these out as best as we are able, knowing that we're not justified by the law because we all fall short, the, the typical caveat we have to add. But thank you for caring enough for us to set forth these instructions uh, to show a way of being community where all may flourish. 
So on this day, help us to be attentive to your word. Help us to be attentive to the opportunities we have to show grace and mercy and love. And these things we ask and pray in Jesus' name. Amen. Well, Pastor Josh will be with you in the morning, and then I will see you Wednesday. God's peace be with you. Bye-bye.